You know I ain't gonna hold you. Tonight we go over chapters 18 and 19 in Reverend Ike's book, The Secrets of Health, Joy, and Prosperity for You. So the tenet for uh, chapter 18, the uh, science of living principle is go forth every day with an attitude and feeling of a big time winner. Um, a lot of his philosophy is based on his tenets of um, his interpretations of, of the Bible and how it's written and how he looks at it differently. One big thing he looks at differently is the the idea of everlasting life. He looks at it as if it's not about everlasting life, life after death, by and by, pie in the sky. He looks at it more about the quality of life while you're here on earth, bringing down heaven on earth so that you live your best life. So he encourages us uh, and tells us, reminds us, God has given you the power to be a winner in this game of life. He has given you the ability to be as great as you want to be. Think about that for a moment. God's gift to you is the ability to make your life as you want it to be. God has given you the power to be what you want to be, to do, and what you want to do, and to have what you want to have. That's a phenomenal principle. He talks about everything good is possible when you look at the presence of power within, and ideas make millionaires. So he talks about having a phenomenal aspect, or thought life uh, about yourself and how you view yourself. And next chapter goes into uh, the principle of how sweet it is. The living principle is you are responsible for making every day a happy day. When God individualized himself in you, he gave you the power, the ability to have all the good you desire. Just count your blessings, name them one by one. If you do that, it will surprise you. So he talks about really just where your attention goes, your energy flows, making sure you focus on the positive things. He says, always take positive action. So in addition to the po in addition to the positive thoughts that we have continuously, he also talks about what you do if you catch yourself going into a rut complaining. He says, watch out, get a hold of yourself and say, wait a minute here. I've complained long enough. I have wrung my hands and whined long enough. Now, what positive action am I going to take? He says, that's why he tells us to make sure that you have a positive self image because negative brings on more negative. And what you want to do is change that cycle of negative to positive. And he talks about, of course, visioning. Because when you have that idea of yourself, you're talking about visioning, how you see yourself, how you present yourself to the world. He says, get in your head. Let me ask you, what dances in your head? What ideas fill your mind? What ideas have you had in your head or what you are going to get in life? What ideas you have in your head or what you're going to get in life? Something is always dancing in your head. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it negative? Is it positive? Does it make for health or does it make for sickness? Does it make for prosperity or does it make for poverty? What's dancing in your head? He talks about the best time um, to really hone in on your um, visualizations is right before you go to sleep so that you engage that subconscious mind, that higher level of thought to get things done and to help you solve problems. Affirmative treatment for this chapter. I now enter the theater of my mind and shut the door to the world mind. I open my inner eye and look to the stage of my imagination. Look who's dancing in my head. It's me. I see myself as I want to be. Healthy and whole in body, mind, and spirit. I see myself doing exactly what I want to do. I see myself having exactly what I want to have. I am appreciating all the good things in my life. How sweet it is. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, and me. That's it for those two chapters, 18, 19. See you next time.